Stephen, that's a really disappointing day. What's your take on it? I think uh, let ourselves down a little bit. I think we're in control of the game first half, uh, more so when it went 10 v 11. Uh, and I think with Funso's red card, that evens things up and it makes it very even second half and it's a bit of a battle. Uh, I, I still think we're in control, but we, we give the ball away really cheap on the halfway line, corner kick, which we then don't defend. And that happens in this type of atmosphere, in this type of game, you lose. And it's, uh, again, you keep saying it's a learning curve, but it, it keeps happening and it's, it's, there's a softness with a lot of individuals in there. Yeah, it was a switch off for the goal, certainly, wasn't it? And, and maybe a lack of spark as well down at the other end, getting into great areas, but not quite doing enough, not forcing Seagreast into big enough saves. Yeah, definitely. And even the saves he makes are at a height that he's, he's very good at. Uh, I think he Marley's one late on. If he hits it on the grass, it's got a better chance of going in. Now, we've worked on that till <laughs> every day of the week, last week and the week before. But it's, uh, it's disappointing the quality at times at the top end uh, and the softness at the back. Have you had an explanation of the second yellow for Funso? Hey, I've not. Uh, I, I, I presume it's because he went back towards the incident uh, where he gets pushed by a supporter. But uh, I didn't ask Bobby about that. Uh, but I, th- I think he can he can be protected by the referee rather than given a second yellow card. I think. Yeah, you, you would have thought protection of players was kind of paramount in that sort of situation. Uh, I would have thought so. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but even even allowing for the the red cards and, and did, did you get a red card as well in the tunnel? Yeah, half time uh, for questioning a couple of his decisions. Uh, so he decided I was questioning his integrity, which which I never do, which you can't. Uh, but questioning his quality, but not his integrity. Yeah. So, so you reckon the approach was? I mean, you were speaking to him perfectly politely and just looking for a couple of answers, and he decided to to red card you for that. It, I don't want to say too much because I have to defend myself. I'm sure, but I was talking to another member of staff not to talk to him, and the thing I said to our member of staff, he take it. As I was questioning his integrity, which I wasn't. But he, he was, well, yeah, that's it, that's fine. Into the second half, 10 against 10. Um, and is your feeling that, that Aberdeen just didn't do enough to, to actually, it was a tight encounter, it wasn't a pretty game. You just wanted to, to get the goal and get out of here. And, and, yeah. and that's what they managed to do. Yeah, pretty much. I think, uh, I, I, I would say we had the bulk of the play, but I don't think we did enough to score the goal. We, we, in general play, for me, we didn't do enough to lose a goal either. Uh, but again, give the ball away really cheap on the halfway line, really cheap. It's inexcusable. Uh, and then the defending of the corner kicks inexcusable as well. So those two incidents, Dundee United didn't do that. And we did, so they end up winning. Defenders are dropping like flies. How, how's Jack McKenzie? Uh, I hope he's OK. He's obviously sore enough to have to come off at half-time, which was a disappointment because we're obviously bare bones at the back anyway with Betsy's illness. Uh, but hopefully he'll be back for next week. I think Jack... Jack's a bit of a warrior, so I think he'll be back next week as well because of the way that he is and even the way he managed to get himself out there today. Any chance of getting anyone else back? Uh, I don't think so, no. Uh, the injuries they've got, I don't think they'll be back for next weekend, which is unfortunate, but again, the group have shown a certain resilience in the week where we did pretty well, but they need to get back on board again pretty quick. You did well at Ibrox, so you'll be looking for the same sort of performance at Celtic Park? Yeah, you'd expect the same type of game. A team that believes they're going to win with a big, huge backing, uh, but... It's, it's always good going there if you can put on a bit of a show and that's, that's the aim for next week and that's what we'll work towards from, from tonight. All the best, thanks Stephen. Cheers bro, thank you.